another tutorial by Eternal Blood. So, here we have Azeroth, which I'm going to move into my banner. Minimize that one. Open this up. And just maybe just perfect that. Okay, there we've got Northern End, and now we want to put text on it I guess, so I'm just going to make a new layer, actually scrap that, just get the text tool, and let's say our server is called, uh, just put World of Warcraft private server. get a font um, what color should we get ok right click that and I'm going to go to blending options just to put an outline on this get a black outline uh, maybe a gradient overlay as well. And there we go, World of Warcraft private server. And say I want that to stay there, and I want our features of the realm to just roll up over Northern End. I'm just going to add some new text in. And I'm going to put fun server just put that right there so this is off screen at the moment just yeah we're just gonna leave it out there and we're going to go to window and add the animation window which is this and we're going to duplicate the layer so it makes a new one and then we'll go into find our text and just slowly drag it in and maybe change the opacity of it as we go along so I'm gonna increase by 20 each time I um, each time I bring it in okay there Bam. bring it up in Um, actually, let's say we want to it to come up in um, a uh, big, big, uh, a high opacity, and then fade off as it goes up. So it's going to fade up here and go off. Okay, so we we've duplicated the layer, and we're just going to move that there. Put the F U just the beginning in. Duplicate layer again, move it in. Maybe change the opacity to 90. Duplicate. Um, let's just. Okay, so we've moved it up a bit. Duplicate the layer again, move it up, and again we're going to change the opacity to this time 80. Just bring that down a bit so it has a nice flow to it. Duplicate the layer again, move it up, put 70 in, duplicate, move it, oh, oops. Move it up, and I'm going to put in 60. Duplicate, move it up, put in 50. Now we're going to duplicate and move it off the screen. And it's as simple as that to get one thing going across the screen, and now we're going to play. So that's our 
animation going across the screen fading out. Although it's pretty hard to see going as fast as it is. So we're going to go to this. Zero seconds is the delay on uh, it going upwards. And we're just going to see how 0.5 seconds is. Just have a look at that. Maybe give the viewer a uh, better look at the text. See that going up and fading off the screen? Well, that seems a, a little slow to me, so I'm just going to press control and click them all and then change that to 0.2 seconds and press play. Now that looks a lot better. You see a smooth, smooth move across the screen. And what I want to do now, though, is I think I'm going to change this so that this black comes across blending options choosing the second one because the first one already has a um, thing back on it okay now okay zero and we're gonna change the opacity just a bit and again change the opacity to a lower level of course and again just see how that pans out and again blending options gradient overlay 17% Blending options, gradient overlay, and 10%. And then I'm just going to get it to try and fade in again. So, gradient overlay. And we want to change it to above 10%, so it looks like it's coming back in. And right click it again, blending options, gradient overlay. 26. Actually, we're going to change that to a higher opacity because that's not much of a difference from the last one. And we've only got two left. There we go. And the last one. Change that to about, about 52. Okay, now let's take a look at this. Now we see uh, the World of Warcraft private server going up and down, well, fading in and out in colour and the fun server going across the screen let's just show you close up you see and basically you, this is the simplest uh, uh, well I believe it's the simplest way to create an animation in Photoshop CS3 extended uh, just using one image pretty easy and it's fun to test as well getting different um, stuff on it and you, if I wanted I could have a picture behind the World of Warcraft maybe a character fading out when the text fades out and fading back in when it fades in um, I think that's about it and that is how you create a World of Warcraft private server banner or any other banner for example but now you need to save it and to do that file save for web and devices or you can control shift alt s just click that otherwise this won't work if you don't do this so it's save for web and devices just click save I'm going to save this to my desktop. And now I'm just going to go into my desktop and here's the animation. <laughs> 